after we get all the values from the specified to do's and for example if the user changed this to doing homework too and now we want to update the to do then we need a update to do functions so now we back to our project and go to the top and we create constant update to do and now this time we also need to use the async await first we want to get the id from the to do dot id because later we will delete this from the to do and then we going to delete the to do dot id because for the update api we do not need the id property so the next is we use await api dot update to do and then we pass the id and also the to do and then we are going to get the result from the read to do's so we use await api dot read to do's now after we already has this array just like before we are going to set the to do's as the latest version now we have to update to do functions and then we bind this to the buttons so we back to our update button and we go to here and save it now if we try to click update now you can see it update at instant so this is how to create the update to do functions so if we click on the other area it will back to the normal and it clear all the fields and now for example if we going to do another things buying fish and then we just copy and paste all of this and then we set the date and let's see whether it works and we click submit now we go to the developer console and if we refresh it has the buying fish so now we back to see what happens at the create to do's so let's see another to do And we cannot append the new to do to our original to do is because there is a typo here that we should have a s here. If you look at the top, it is set to do's instead of set to do. So now if we back to the website and then you can see now we have just free to do. This time we type new to do and then we copy this and paste a few times and then we add a date and click submit now we can see the new to do already appear here so now we can click on this and change this to new to do too now you can see it update and also we can also delete so this is how to use the strapi and we add to create a to do